So you're ready to adopt a rescue dog. Let's talk about our process. I'll cover the whole adoption process from start to finish and we'll help you with one of the most important decisions and the hardest decision you can make. Stick around. Let's talk about our adoption process. But first, if you want to help feed a rescue dog, it's easy. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you'll be notified anytime we upload a new video and watch our videos. Hey, you can help feed a rescue dog and we've got a bunch of hungry dogs. So one of the first steps in adopting a rescue dog is to go online and fill out an application. Now the adoption application is on our website. You can do it online. It's fairly easy. There's going to be a lot of questions. Typically it takes you about 10 to 15 minutes to go fill out the complete application. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So go to our website. It's www.roughloverescue.com. Now be sure you spell rough right. It's R-U-F-F. -F. If you spell it any other way, well, I can't guarantee you what you're going to come up with. So once you're on our website, click on the adopt button. That's going to take you to the adoption application. Click on adoption application. From there, most of it, the first part, your name, age, address, all the information we need to get in touch with you. Over to the side, fill in everybody that lives in your house. Scroll on down. We have an area, if you've already met a dog at one of our adoption events, you can put that dog's name in this location. Now, if you don't have a particular dog in mind, you can easily go in, fill out about the size of dog you're looking for, gender if you have a preference there, uh, an age range of a dog that you're looking for. There's a few questions we ask you about any issues that you're willing to work with when adopting a dog. If you scroll on down, we ask you to list any existing pets that you already have in the home. This gives us a better idea of how to match you up with a new dog. From there, we just have some general questions asking about your fenced in yard, cats, and other things. We do need references. That's going to be really important. We need your veterinarian information so we can contact them. And as you scroll on down, anything that you feel like we need to know, put that in there. Give us as much information as you can. Basically, give us as much information as you can on the adoption application. Now, once you're done, when finished, you'll click on Submit Application. Now, once you finish the adoption application and clicked on the Submit button, Typically, it takes us one to two days. We'll email you back just to let you know that we've got your application and we're working on it. Now, all of the volunteers have full-time jobs. We have homes of our own to take care of. We have our own pets to take care of. So it may take one to two weeks to get your application processed. Once the application is processed comes the very hardest part of adopting a rescue dog, deciding which one. Well, let me tell you a little story about dogs. If you provide food, water, medical attention when they're sick or injured, and spend time with your dog, your dog is going to love you no matter what. I don't care if you're butt ugly. I don't care if you're the most beautiful person in the world. I don't care if you smell bad. Guess what? If you take care of your dog, your dog is still going to love you. There's days in the middle of the summer, I'll come in from working outside all day. Hey, I'm ugly, I stink, and guess what? My dogs still love me. So what I'm getting at is, why is it humans have this certain picture of the dog they've got to have? A certain breed, certain color. Dogs don't think that way. And if you go into the adoption process with an open mind, it's going to help you pick a dog that matches your personality, matches your lifestyle, and matches your needs. In the end, everything's going to get along better. 
I don't know if you've seen it yet or not. You might take a look at it. I did a video a few weeks back about what is a rescue dog. In this video, I introduce my five rescue dogs. They're all totally different, but going into it with an open mind, I chose a dog that matched our personality that fit in with our house. So if you go into it with an open mind, chances are you may not get the dog that you had pictured, but you'll get a dog that's a perfect match for you. So on the adoption application, when you fill that out and be perfectly honest with yourself and us, give us a description of the size dog you're looking for. If you're looking for a male or female, we can work around that. But give us a description of the personality you're looking for in the dog, what you want in a dog. And if you go into it open-minded, we'll probably match you up with the ideal dog. Hey, we've been doing this for 20 years. We've got folks at the rescues, a lot of our volunteers, I mean, this is what they do. So if you give us the opportunity to match you up with a dog, things should work out. So once the adoption application has been approved and we've narrowed it down to maybe a dog or a few dogs that you're interested in, we arrange a meet and greet. Sometimes we do this at one of our adoption events. Sometimes we do this in our, at our facility in Thomasville. Or sometimes one of our volunteers will bring the dog to your home. Now, part of our adoption process, we will do a home visit. Now, no, we're not going to come in with the white gloves looking for dust and dirt through your house. Most of us have dogs. I've got five. I can probably dig out enough hair under the couch to make a nice winter coat. So that's not what we're looking for. The main goal in the home visit is to make sure your home is set up and ready for a dog. So once that's completed, it could be done prior to you picking up the dog, or it could be done when we bring the dog to meet you. But once that's done, once you have met the dog and decided on the exact dog that you want, we do a two week home trial. Now what this is, is a two week period for you to get used to the dog and for the dog to get used to you. There's a lot of changes. The dog's been at the rescue, you know, maybe for a week, maybe for a year. Now, anytime during the two week home trial, if you have any questions, maybe there's something the dog is doing and you don't understand, or if there may be a small problem, feel free to contact us. All of our volunteers have had dogs for years. We've done this for a long time. There's a good chance we can help you with the problem you're having with the dog. Once the home trial starts, we'll have you fill out an adoption contract. Now, all this contract is, is, is you telling us, you guaranteeing us that throughout the rest of this dog's life, you'll provide it with food, water, medical attention, and a good home. Basically, you're going to take the care of the dog. Now, if anything ever happens for whatever reason, and you can no longer keep the dog, one of the things in the contract is you contact Rough Love Rescue. We'll always take a dog back, no matter what the circumstances, we we'll always take the dog back. So that's the adoption contract. Now, at any point, at any time, if you have any kind of questions about the dog, even after the two week tri home trial, if you have any questions about the dog, have any issues, you can always contact us. We'll be glad to help you out. So after the two week home trial, if everything is good, the dog is a good match for you. You're a good match for the dog. We consider the adoption final. Usually, usually somebody contacts you at the two week mark, just to verify that everything's okay. Now, one of the things that we recommend is even after the two, the first two weeks, Give the dog another week or two to settle in. Once you feel the dog is settled in good, we always recommend professional training. Just basic obedience training. You know, I know from the experience with my own personal dogs, they love going to the training classes. The basic obedience, uh, it's, it's just a good overall class. And what the class is really about is training you to train your dog. The dog trainer will work with your dog a little bit in most cases, but most of all, the dog trainer is working with you. There's a lot you can learn. A professional trainer can 
help you with any issues that you have with the dog. Anything training related, they can, they can help you work through a lot of different things. So we always recommend that. So hey, that pretty much wraps it up. We try to keep the adoption process as simple as possible and as stress-free as possible. And one thing to think about when you're adopting a rescue dog, not only are you saving that dog's life, you're opening up another spot at the rescue where we can take in another homeless, abandoned, or abused dog. So by adopting a rescue dog, you're saving two dogs. So again, please remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon so you'll be notified when we upload new videos, and watch our videos. It can help feed a rescue dog. Until the next video, we'll see you next time.